Hey YouTube, it's Mahalo525. Today I'll be showing you how to tell the difference between a male and a female crayfish. I will also be showing you today how to properly handle a crayfish without getting pinched. Now, now there are two main ways to do this. One is with is visually without having to handle them or risk getting pinched really badly. The second way is hands-on, which involves holding the crayfish, handling it, and flipping it over to check out the tail. So, let's get started. First off, we will, we will be doing the visual test. Okay, first off, male crayfish. They have a smaller tail, about a little, a little uh, thinner than the width of their body, and they would have much bigger claws, and males are usually much larger than the females. Where the females have much smaller claws, but a much wider tail about the width of their body. And they need that wider tail to be able to have space to carry the eggs. Where the males need bigger claws to defend their territory or defend themselves from other crayfish. Okay, now we will be doing the hands-on test. First, the, pr the best way to grip a crayfish is right behind the carapace, where your fingers will be blocking the claws to move upwards to pinch you. So, now we will start from with the male. Okay, you see those two arms there? The male will have those. Where on the female, those two little arms will be absent. Okay guys, here's a short clip of a male and female crayfish mating where the male will try to softly grip the claws of the female to prevent her from pinching him. And then he will attempt to this, that means the crayfish are mating and the eggs should come in a f at least a few days maybe it can be up to a week who knows so yeah so there you go this is a tutorial on how to tell whether a crayfish is a male or a female and how to properly handle them so thanks for watching